Watch you guys got another video here for you now with Nvidia's release of the 3080 and in the future they're going to be releasing the 3090 and 3070 and some other versions probably a little bit later on in the year. So let's talk about things to consider before you go out and buy a brand new graphics card like the RTX 3080 or 3070 or 3090. First off, don't be overpaying for these graphics cards. Don't be paying these particular prices for those cards. They are not worth it. What's happened here is there's a shortage of cards. People have got a pre-order going and they're trying to sell that card for ridiculous amounts of money on eBay, of course. And it was the same thing when the pandemic started. People started buying up loads and loads of hand gel and sanitizer and then overpricing for it. This is what eBay's become. It's become a scammer's paradise and steer clear of these sort of scammers. They are just trying to fleece you of your hard-earned cash. And especially when people do want to buy this card, they will pay a premium for them and they know people will pay it. But some of these prices are ridiculous. They've got to be trolly sort of posts. I mean, 10000 for one of these cards is just really ridiculous. Order confirmed, as it says here, don't be paying for those particular types of cards at those prices. Next up, if you've got already an RTX 2080 Ti, then don't go out and panic sell that card. It's still a very good card that you've got there. You don't need to go and sell it. It's a very good card and it will still do everything you need it to do. Okay, so what about if you are looking to build a brand new PC? Should you be looking to buy a RTX 30? 80 or 3070 or 3090 and the answer to that is yes and no because there's reasons why you won't want to buy one and there's reasons for yes you do want to buy one so let's talk about the reasons why you wouldn't want to buy an rtx uh, series card the latest generation series cards and the reason for that is if you look to do 1080p gaming if you still love your 1080p monitors and play games online at 1080p then there's no reason to go and buy an RTX 3070, 3080 or even a 3090. It's just a waste of money. And if you're stuck in the 1080p series of gaming and you like that, then don't waste your money on one of these cards. You're not going to get the benefit of that card. You're just wasting your time and your money. Now, another thing to consider is your internet connection is probably something that people don't actually consider thinking about but if you're looking at becoming a streamer or you want to broadcast a, a higher definition say for instance uh ultra hd or 4k then you're going to need a decent internet connection to do that and it does cost a bit of money so if you're looking to broadcast at 720p then you having something i end like this is not going to really make much difference also if you're just gaming online you still need to have a decent internet connection to get the benefit out of your system so make sure that you look at your internet as well before you start thinking about buying a bleeding edge system that you can't even play games online properly with because uh, your internet just can't handle uh, what you're trying to do there. So your picture may look really awesome and on your computer, but you're having a really bad experience of trying to you know, get frags and stuff like that because your internet is really poor. So it doesn't really matter what your computer is. If your internet is bad, then you're still gonna have a bad experience. Now, on the plus side, if you're looking to build a PC and you have got a really bleeding edge monitor, one of those uh, ultra wide 4K monitors with a high refresh rate and you want to get the use, use out of that, then having a bleeding edge graphics card is going to be ideal for you. So if you're looking to go down that route, then by all means do so and you will get the benefits out of that by having this type of graphics card. Again, if you're only using 1080p monitor, there's not much point in buying this particular type of card. And that is probably one of the questions that people seem to forget about, which is what monitor are you using? Most people will use 1080p 60 Hertz or 1080p 144 Hertz, or even a little bit higher Hertz. But if you are playing games on that resolution and those Hertz, then there's not much point in buying a card like that. So if you're using something like this, then having one of those bleeding edge cards is a waste of money and you're not going to get the benefit out of that card now if you're using a 4k monitor ultra wide monitor something like this then by all means go out and buy that particular card because it will definitely do you 
the world of good. Now, a lot of people don't have monitors like this because they can't afford them and they end up using just normally a 1080p monitor, which is probably one of the most common uh, monitors used today for gaming. Now, I'm still using a 1080p 144 hertz monitor, which I have no problems with. I think 2K is becoming a bit more of the norm nowadays, but even that, you still don't need an RTX 3080 to run a 2K uh, monitor. So let's move on to hardware. If you've got outdated or old hardware that can't utilize that graphics card, then you may want to consider building yourself a brand new system and then buying that graphics card because that old hardware is not going to be able to utilize it and use the full potential of that graphics card. And what I mean by that is if you've got an old i7 system, an old uh, DDR3 setup or something like that, there's no point putting in a bleeding edge graphics card like the RTX 3080 or 3070 or even the 3090. Also, another thing to take a look at is the power draw for those cards. They need a 750 watt power supply. And if you haven't got that in your system, then you're going to need to buy a graphics card as well. Also, check for the uh, size of the case. Can it fit in your case? The 3090 takes up to three slots on the back expansion slots. So if you haven't got room for it, or you're using a pre-built system like one of those Dell Optiplexes, you are not going to be able to get the utilization out of that graphics card, and you are wasting your money. So if you're rocking a really old sort of computer, an old platform, then it's not worth buying this card. You will need to upgrade your computer. You will be bottlenecking the system. And again, if you're using a pre-built system, which a lot of people have bought and upgraded to make them gaming, then obviously something like this is just not going to be worth you doing. Now, as you can see also, when you look around online, everything is currently unavailable. That's because everyone's rushed out and bought them. And there's some people that are actually reselling them brand new uh, for a bigger profit, which, um, you know, which is pretty normal for places like eBay. So if you do see those online, don't overpay for them. They're just not worth it. They will eventually come back into stock and you can pre-order one. You can go to places like Curry's and things like that and just order one, pre-order here. And when they come into stock, they will send it to you. Uh, but you can see the amount of people that are actually looking for uh, these particular cards right now. Everyone's looking to buy one because they are pretty decent graphics cards. Again, probably a majority of people haven't got the system to drive them. So it's just really not worth uh, buying them if you haven't got that sort of system uh, to run it. Also, games. Let's take a look at the games that you see. Most of the games online don't even need a graphics card like that to play, like Counter-Strike, uh, also Dota, you can see here, um, Team Fortress, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, Rocket League, all of these games, you can run these pretty much on a potato machine. It really won't need that high-end graphics card. It's only if you are playing like 4K gaming, and most people aren't doing that. So really, when you see League of Legends, uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Valorant, Valorant runs pretty much on a really low-end system. I'm playing that with a 1660 Super right now, You've got Fortnite, which is a very popular game. You can run that pretty much on a really low-end spec system. And also, you've got other games as well, like uh, Modern Warfare and also Warzone and Minecraft. Or wherever games you're looking to play, most of the low-end systems will be able to still play those games online. A majority of people don't need a graphics card of this magnitude to play games like that. Some people are just going to want to do it, but I guarantee you they're probably not even utilizing that card anywhere near its potential because their system is just not good enough. And remember, a graphics card doesn't necessarily make you a better game player. Practice, game sense, and natural skill does that for you. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. If you've considered all of these things that I've talked about in this video and you can answer yes to a lot of these, then by all means, go out and buy this awesome graphics card and, and I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy your purchase. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this information helps you out. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.